I don't know what my husband was thinking, but he got me a bit nervous for this. Another um, little green bag kind of situation, but it has instructions. Me first. I know you have some additional supplies you will need, but I didn't know where they were. So please get a glue gun and required glue, popsicle sticks, we have them, two sheets of black card paper, and cutting tools. Alright, we can do that. What you make will not stand up on its own due to craft supply limitations. I wanted to get you something, but apparently only Michaels has it. We're in Australia. Sad face. Actually it says sad face. So you may use whatever you need to to achieve that. Now read the next note. First, I'm gonna get all these other supplies and I'll be back. I got the popsicle sticks, the black card, my heat gun glue, and my heat gun is heating up right here. Cutting tools, knives, scissors, ruler, cutting board. Let's move on to letter number two. Find inside this month's pack all things, hopefully, you need to make a shadow box pumpkin. That is cool. If you don't know what that is, open the email I sent you now. You won't be able to copy that one with your supplies, but should be able to come up with a unique version of your own. You can tell your viewers that your supplies cost about $12. Well, there we go. No prompt, but your pumpkin must contain a spooky shack or a house, at least one gravestone, Use at least some of the supplied creepy crawlies. I hope they're not real. Have fun. It's a bag. Here's mm. some fake and orange carpet. Modeling clay. Air hardening. Wire. Something I can hide behind. Actually, smells kind of nice. And we got some Halloween stuff. It's cool. Kind of tasty. It's finger puppets. I don't know if you guys like spiders, but. And the bowl. So I'm gonna check my email now. I'm intrigued. That's what he meant. This will be cool. I'll see you all on the other side. So in order to be properly prepared for this project, I decided to sketch out what I wanted the final piece to look like. I drew the pumpkin bowl and the house that needed to go inside. You can see me draw a fence here, but I ended up not putting that into the project. After the sketch was done, I transferred the house I drew onto the transfer paper to then transfer it onto the black cardstock. I cut out the house and the windows and then stuck little strips of paper behind the windows. I decided to use these three critters that came in the little pack from the uh, 
skull, I only need the arms, so they're gonna stick out of the grave. And I'm gonna paint the pumpkin orange. Now it's time to get onto the air dried clay. First, I'm making a base for the bowl to stand on. Then I'm making a mountain inside the bowl for the house to stand on. And here I'm just measuring out to see if the house is actually fitting on the mountain. Then onto one of the requirements of the challenge, a tombstone. So that's just what I'm sculpting here. I'm putting some RIP inside the stone. And a little skull to sit next to it. You've probably seen me make one of these in one of my previous videos. While the clay was still drying, I painted on the background, which didn't affect the clay at all, so I could just go ahead. I did two layers of black and then painted in a tree as well, and later on some pumpkins, but you will see that later. This is me attaching a moon I made of black cardstock and white paint and then putting on the stem on top and covering that with clay. And then the most tedious part of all, working with the air dry clay, I put on two little strips of black cardstock on the side so that the clay can kind of wrap around the bowl as if it's a pumpkin cut out. It, it will make sense when I finally paint the thing. Here is me attaching the bowl to the base that I created and it actually stands up so I don't have to hang it anywhere. Now everything is dry and we can move on to painting the mountain. I started off with black acrylic paint and covered the whole thing and then added some highlights with white acrylic paint and painted the tombstone grey. and some black inside the eyes of the skull. Then the part where it actually comes together, the orange of the pumpkin. When you look at it right now, it doesn't look like anything yet, but it will. I'm painting two little pumpkins on the inside. The orange paint was absolute crap. So I did some white first to have a white background and then the light orange over on top of it so it actually stands out against the black and then just going in with some black for some final details and white for the shading underneath. I painted the back of the pumpkin black and you see why in just a moment. Then I attached the house onto the mountain finally it's all coming together and I selected some different lights. They're string lights with little pumpkin, no, not pumpkin, with little skulls inside of them. And I'm just gonna attach them all at the back of the mountain and the house. Here I'm taking apart all the individual plants from the mat that my husband got me and gluing them on the mountain. This is a bit hard to see, but I'm gluing in the little hands, as I will show you in a minute. There we go. And let's not forget the little pumpkin, just sitting on the side over there. And this is the back of the pumpkin, and I'm gonna cover that with some creepy cloth. And that's it, all done. I really enjoy taking a different take on an image that my husband found online of the pumpkin shadow boxes and making it my own. 
It's a cheap alternative and it kept me busy for a good couple of days. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any suggestions or questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for updates. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!